I use a rubric, I use a standards board, I use a graphic organizers. Um, there's not a lot of curriculum materials available for writing that we use, so there's a lot more flexibility and I like that. So I, we as a team in second grade created a graphic organizer that um, really tends to relate back to the learning targets more and that we can personalize ourselves. That, that's the beauty of it. We use six plus one writing traits. So um, we, there's a lot out there for six plus one writing traits, but we don't have a lot. So we use whatever we create or um, we use the rubric that is with six plus one writing traits, but we created a student friendly version. So what I used in the lesson is the student friendly version of the rubric. I chose the ideas specifically because we're focusing on main idea and details within that trait. And uh, I use the graphic organizer because that's where they can write their ideas in an organized place that will eventually lead to the final draft. I like that I have the freedom to create my own lessons. I like that um, it's student driven so the students can write and look back and self check, self assess. They all have their own rubrics. So um, for the final draft lesson, they're going to peer revise. And I like that they have those rubrics so that they can do that um, partner work. And um, I like that it's engaging for them because it's shapes and fun for them. They like the triangle. They like that it narrows down the main idea and then the circles show the details. They can use it in the future. A lot of them whenever they're given the school-wide assessment is not, uh, it doesn't give them a graphic organizer, it's just a sheet of paper. So I, I can tell that they're using it because they draw it themselves and they know how to draw the triangle and then they draw the details and so it's showing that they can utilize that tool independently and um, they can apply that to anything. They can apply just organizing their ideas in the future and in their everyday life. I would add the, because right now on our graphic organizer doesn't have the introduction and conclusion statement, they write it in. Mm. So maybe I would, I would change that. I would add that to it. But I like that they do it independently too. I like that they write it because then I can tell, you know how to, you know that you need a conclusion, you know that you need an introduction because they do it on their own. <laughs>